This is an action figure review for Toy Biz Xena Warrior Princess Gabrielle, Orphan of War, Spinning, Spinning Staff Attack figure review. And we get a good look at it, still in the package. Figure's pretty old, over 10 years old. The box is slightly beat up, but that's all right. I'm gonna open this up to show you, so it won't even matter. You know, I always thought Toy Biz went all out on this packaging when it comes to Xena figures. Looks pretty cool. Like, they don't even need, I mean, look at this. Look at the side view. Look at all that space. I don't even need this packaging to be this big. But I think it's because some of the Xena figures came with like a base. So that's probably why. They didn't change any packaging for this one. They just decided, oh, whatever. Same box. That's fine. Here's Gabrielle. Still in the packaging. Comes with a crap load of weapons. Get a nice Xena logo right here. Toy Biz, of course. And we get a picture of Xena up here. And also picture of Xena and her her son actually I remember that and on the back get a picture of Gabrielle right here right there little instructions for Gabrielle's accessories which you don't really need unless you, know, you don't know what the hell you're doing and a brief summary of Gabrielle and Xena's kid, but it's kind of long, so I don't think I want to. This is me going going on and on about the episode, so I'll skip that. And here, are the, of course, the other figures in the wave, the six-inch figures. You get Callisto, Xena, Gabrielle, of course, and the other Xena. And on the bottom, twelve-inch figures of Xena. Kalisto, Xena, and Gabrielle. Pretty much like Barbie status. And that's it for packaging. So, I'm pretty much just going to open this up and give you a closer look at Gabrielle. And here she is out of the package. Ready to be reviewed. Let's take a look at the figure. <laughs> the most obvious thing is the face. It looks alright. I mean, what do you expect? It was back then. This figure was made in 1998. So I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting anything spectacular. But it's alright. It's not like hideous or anything. So it's fine. The hair is fine. The skirt, like detail is kind of cool. It's like actual, like, you know, lines and everything sculpted in. She's got like a dagger holder right here. You can see some of the glue, it's a little sloppy. But it doesn't bother me that much. The boots are kind of pink. I don't remember her boots being that pink in the show. I think they were brown. It's weird. But yeah, this part is perfectly accurate. The colors right here. It's pretty good. <clears throat> okay, articulation wise, all she can do, she can turn her head left and right, but limited because of her hair sculpt. Shoulders go up and down. And you have waist articulation. And underneath her skirt, you can move her legs back and forth. Feet joints full, can't go side to side. And right here, you can bend at the knee. Pretty good. And you can also bend at the foot. And that's it. But on this side, she does have like a swivel for the elbow, kind of. But that's only because of this right here. Her spinning attack feature. So it's locked into place when I do that. And then move her right here. So this shoulder is moving up and down and this one's just like turning as I'm doing this, you know, right here. 
I'll show you what it looks like when she has all her weapons and stuff. Come on, stand up for me. Ah. That's the one problem I think this figure has. She can't stand up on her own that good. Okay. Take a look at her accessories here. She comes with this axe. It's not bad at all. Right here it's got like some actual sculpted on scrapes and stuff for like to show that it's not like brand new or anything. The one the one weird thing about this is it has like articulation right here. So you can do this. Or you can turn it this way. I'm not sure why. She also comes with her staff, her stick, that she actually used in the show. It's pretty cool. It's nice paint. Nice sculpt detail. It's alright. So she comes with this dagger, which goes into that holster or whatever, so we'll put that on in a little bit. And here's the bow and arrow. Which is pretty cool actually. It's nicely painted. It's got all kinds of paint on it. And th this is an actual string. And here are the, b the arrows for it. You know, a little holder. Put a strap around her back, her shoulders. So, um, I'll try doing the bow and arrow with the arrow, see if it actually does anything. Okay, it's in place now. Let's see how far it goes. <laughs> Not very far. But at least they did give you the actual bow and arrow with the string on it, so that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm gonna put her, give her her stick right here, her staff. So now she's holding it. Now we're gonna do the spinning attack. See how it looks. <laughs> put her arm up higher. There we go. Look at that. I mean, it's not great or anything, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, you go pretty fast. Look at that. It's pretty cool. There we go. Look at whoa! <laughs> All kinds of crazy moves. <laughs> so yeah, the dagger goes in place right here. Fits. That's good. And uh, the bone arrow strap. I tried putting it in, but uh, it doesn't really fit. But uh, the reason for that is probably because right here, you probably have to actually disconnect this and put it around it and then connect it back. Which might be a pain in the butt, but whatever. I'll do it at the end of this video, maybe. Her size is about 5.5 inches almost six or just about we're bringing some more figures to compare there's Xena warrior princess from the same toy line so that's, that's a really good size right there here's Velasca also from the same line which is pretty damn ugly actually I mean, look at this. That is horrible. Now these are skin, a different color. But, ah, so ugly. The, the, the figure sculpt is nothing like the picture on the box. They just, I don't know. I don't even know how they did the picture. Man. But you know what? Everything else is good, though. But, yeah. We're bringing some more figures to compare there's DC Universe Batgirl and <clears throat> Bendai's Many Morphin Power Ranger 
Trini the Yellow Ranger, the flip head one. <laughs> it's not bad. Gabrielle was pretty short, I think. Yeah, she's pretty short. So that's it's not it's not bad at all. You can put her in any collection if you want. Okay, now I'll put the strap on her with the arrows. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> here she is holding most of her accessories. The other thing she's not holding is her her axe thing. Looks pretty good. But yeah, it turns out I didn't have to actually take this off the strap. You just had to like wrestle with it for a second. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, and those of you who are wondering if this skirt is removable, it is not. Sorry if I ruined your dreams. <laughs> but yeah, um, it is a separate piece, a separate piece, and it's rubbery. And uh, right here, it has like you know, like you can unbuckle it on both sides. But um, this part right here is glued on. So it's like they put it around it, they buckled it, and then they glued this piece to this piece. But even if you got it off somehow, it's like, I don't know, you, like once you put it back, it probably won't stay on as well because it's glued, you know? And you can't just take it down like like in real life because it's right here, it's extremely thin. So it'll be, you'll probably like squeeze your legs on the way down. Probably impossible. So just leave it alone. But yeah, that was Gabrielle from... Xena Warrior Princess line, it's from Toy Biz. Alright, thanks for watching. There's... Ah.